chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. I'm reading from verse 6. You want to remain well. All those you have bottled up, lock the door against all the people you have oppressed, and you have locked them in in a chamber of terror. You will open the door for the oppressed. In Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Is it not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burden, and to let the oppressed go free. Free them in your mind. Free them in your life. All those habits and all those uh, types of character that will try to be a terror to people and will oppress them. Open the door of oppression. Let them go free. Let the oppressed go free. That ye break every yoke. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. And when, when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. That kind of secret life that you are living with your husband, with your wife. And you are not exposing everything. You are not opening the door. Open the door. Let there be freedom in your family. Let oppression be something forgotten in your family. What's going to be the result? Look at verse 8. Verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. I didn't hear an amen there. It says, age of holiness, hold on to the word. The word of promise, the word of power, that you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, and you will pay attention to that word. And then, oh, of holiness, you open the door for the oppressed, that they will go free. El, look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. Did you hear when I read it to you in Numbers chapter 21? Look. To the Lord is the great physician, is the healer of the sick, is the one that took your sickness to Calvary and he nailed it to the cross. Look to the Lord, the great physician. I'm looking at Numbers chapter 21, verses 9, verses 8 and 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a furry serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is speaking, when he looketh, when he looketh, he looketh upon it, shall live. Don't look at your symptom. Don't look at the medical books. Don't look at, you know, the swelling. Don't look at anything. Don't look at the bite. But look to the Lord. When he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man, when he beheld, when he looked upon that serpent of brass, he lived. That's what Jesus was referring to in John chapter 3. John chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. You will have salvation. You will have healing. You will have deliverance. Your voice is tired. Each holds on to his word. He sent his word 
and healed them all. Speak the word only, and I and my servant will be healed. Hold to the word. Open the door for the oppressed. Take oppression away. Take all that terror and terrifying character away. Look to the Lord. I intercede for others. Many times, those who are sick, those who are having problems, they concentrate too much on self. It's like, look at my sorrow. Look at my problem. And look at this. And self-centeredness will come in. Selfishness will come in. And while you're looking at yourself all the time, yourself only, that problem continues. Selfishness, self-centeredness, self-concentration makes the problem to remain. But when you look away from yourself and you intercede for others, you remember others while you are praying for other people, your own miracle will come your way. I said your own miracle will come your way. Intercede for others. We're looking at Job chapter 42. You know the problem that Job had? Boils all over the body and pain all over the body. And there were arguments and discussions here and there. But the healing did not come with argument. Look at verse 10, Job chapter 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. The Lord turned the captivity of Job, healed the sickness of Job, took away the infirmity of Job when he wasn't looking at himself or praying for himself, or mourning, or being sorrowful because of his condition. When he prayed for his friends, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Intercede for others and name him as your physician. Name him as your physician is a great physician and he has healed many like you whatever problem you are having now whatever challenges you are going through now you have solved that problem for another person before when they made him their great physician name him as your physician and the name of Jesus will heal you the name of Jesus will deliver you. Amen. Name him as your physician. We're looking at Acts chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 6. Acts chapter 3, verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. Look up here. I have something. I have something. And I have somebody. I have Jesus. I have Jesus. Is my savior. Is my deliverer. Is my healer. And I have his name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tell me, rise up and walk. Look at verse 16. And his name, through faith in his name. His name, through faith in his name. Name him as your great physician. His name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong. Whom you see and know, yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. 
in the presence of everyone today, your healing has come. Each hold on to his word. Oh, open the door for the oppressed. L, look to the Lord. I intercede for others and name him as your physician. He expect to be healed. Expect to be healed. What's your expectation this day? Expect to be healed. We're looking at Mark chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 25. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood, 12 years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, for her that grew was. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press, in the crowd, among the multitude behind, and touched his garment. For she said, here was her expectation. Here is your expectation. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. I shall be whole. I shall be whole. That's the expectation. Verse 29. And straightway, immediately, and straightway, the fountain of her blood, 12 years problem, dried up. It will dry up. It will vanish away. All those cancer germs will die up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. That was her expectation. She got her expectation. Expect to be healed. Your healing has come. Jeremiah chapter 29. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. Tell me. Tell me out aloud. If you have such expectation, tell me, tell me. To give you an expected end. Yes, see no more. Look at John chapter 5. John chapter 5, verse 8. Jesus says unto him, Rise up, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole. When are you going to be made whole? Now, immediately, immediately the man was made whole. Look at verse 14 afterwards. Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, Thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse sin come on thee, sin no more. You've been smoking, and that brought that disease, sin no more. You've been going after men and after women, and you've got venereal disease, the Lord will heal you, but after that, sin no more. You have been enraged with anger. And, uh, you know, because of your lifestyle, it has uh, kind of heightened uh, your blood pressure. And if you go too far in that kind of anger and anxiety, you can die just like that. Sin no more, lest it was sin come on you. The Lord will give you grace. You will sin no more. Give a good amen now. Yes, serve the Lord, serve the Lord, serve the Lord. In Exodus chapter 23, 
verse 25. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And ye shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. From your intestine, he'll take that sickness away. From your lungs, he'll take that sickness away. From your eyesight, it will take that glaucoma away. And from your bone, it will take all that leukemia away. I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. On what ground? On the grounds that will serve the Lord. And there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of my days I will fulfill. Accident will not kill you prematurely. The powers that be will not kill you prematurely. Anything from the sky, anything from the sea, anything from behind any curtain will not cut short your life. Hold on to his word. Open the door for the oppressed. Look to the Lord. Intercede for others. Name him as your great physician. Expect a miracle today, expect to be healed. Sin no more, lest a worse sin come upon you. Serve the Lord, he will heal you today. Ask, and it shall be given you. And you are acting as if you are the only one in the house. The Lord is telling this, ask, it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find, you'll find it. Your expectation, you'll find it. Your desires, you will find it. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. There's a key that opens doors to your healing, to your deliverance, to the mercy of God, to the miracle of God. Knock at his door. Miracles will come out and meet you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. How many people? Everyone that asketh receiveth. I said how many people? Everyone that asketh receiveth. He that seeketh findeth. And to him, to her, to him that knocketh it shall be opened. I'm going to the door of the almighty God. Behind that door, my miracle is waiting for me. My healing is waiting for me. My deliverance is waiting for me. And I come on, I come on, I come on. I knock, and I don't know for too long. The door is open. My healing comes out, and I receive it, and I go on rejoicing in Jesus' name. Why don't you tell the Lord, your miracle is coming. Your miracle is coming. Ask. It will be given to you. Ask, it will be given to you. There is no exception. There's no exception. Everyone, everyone, everyone that asketh receiveth. Whether the sickness is great or it is small, it's short time or it's long standing or it's incurable, it doesn't matter. God is a God of power. God is a God of authority. And God is telling you today, ask, ask ask it shall be given unto you seek and you will find knock and the door of mercy is going to be opened unto you it's going to be opened unto you understand hold on to his word hold on to his word don't allow that word to go if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord your god and you will receive that word hold on to that word the sickness of egypt the cancer of the world the tuberculosis of the world and the leukemia of the world and the insanity of the world will not be upon your life. And then I am the Lord that healeth you. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Open the door of the oppressed. If you are oppressing people, intimidating people, 
making people afraid and making people uh, to be subdued and you're covering them up remove the lid open the door open the door of oppression and let the people go out free as you say to the people free you yourself you'll be free you cannot be oppressing other people and then think you are going to be free. You cannot hold now other people and then think you are going to be free. Open the door for the oppressed. Let the oppressed go free. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. He has been lifted up. He has been raised up. And everyone that looketh shall live. Everyone, everyone, everyone that looketh, look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be ye saved. Look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be ye healed. Look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be ye delivered. Intercede for others. Give the same promise to others. Wish others well. Wish others happy. Wish others promoted. Intercede for others. Don't be a grudge. Job could have been bearing grudge. They argued with me. They accused me. They put me down. They didn't show love to me. There's no compassion. They condemned me. Job could have been bearing grudge, but no, he interceded for them. And as soon as he interceded for them, his captivity was turned. Name Christ as your great physician. Name Christ as your great physician. Faith in his name. Faith in his name. Faith in his name. Got the man healed. Faith in the name of Christ. Faith in the name of Christ. Jesus, our healer. All our sicknesses he bear. And with all the Spirit's fullness, filling our hearts within. Expect to be healed. Expect that the prayer of faith will heal you. Expect that the prayer of faith will take away your infirmity. Sin no more. Slander no more. Don't commit crimes anymore. Be going out and going out in the night. You be doing evil. You almost died, but the Lord has saved your life. Sin no more. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. He will bless your water. He will bless your bread. He will take sickness away from the midst of you. He will take sickness away. He will take sickness away. He will take sickness away from inside your body. Free. You'll be free indeed. Free. You'll be free indeed. coming your way healing and health wholeness and wellness soundness of body spirit and soul live by the word believe the word 
hold on to the word. You remember his promise? Hold on to that. You remember his precept? Hold on to that. You remember all his pronouncements? Hold on to that. You remember the prophecy? Hold on to that. Hold on to his word. Cancel that character of oppression. Obliterate. Get rid of it. Throw it away. And that satanic joy of seeing other people suffer, you're oppressing them, it's coming from Satan. Throw it away. Open the door for the oppressed. Let them go out free. Look to the Lord. He's lifted up. He's raised up. Look up to him. The representation in the wilderness cannot be stronger than the Lord himself. He looked up to that brazen serpent, lifted up upon the pole, and they were healed. As we look up to the Lord, that that brazen serpent represented, it will heal you. First Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believers in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Look up to the Lord. Intercede for others. Take selfishness away from your life. Intercede for others. Take self-centeredness away from your life. You want to be happy? Let others be happy too. You want to be delivered? Don't hinder the deliverance of others too. You want to have joy? Let others have their own portion of joy. Intercede for others. Name Christ as your great physician. Name Christ as your great physician. Name him. As your great physician, he took my sin away. He took my sorrow away. He took my sickness away. Name him as your great physician. Expect to be healed. Expect to be healed. This day, expect your miracle. This moment, Expect your healing. Expect your deliverance. That immediately his name will take away that calamity from your life. That problem from your child. Expect a miracle. See no more. Are you healed? Sin no more. Are you saved? Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. If you believe the Lord, you take his word serious. Sin no more. So ever committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning, and the devil works mischief in the lives and the body of those who continue in sin. Sin no more. Serve the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your might. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. In all sincerity, 
serve the Lord with clean hands and a pure heart. Serve the Lord and he will bless your bread and bless your water. Everything you eat, everything you take, he will bless. And he will take sickness away from the midst of your body. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. In a Bible believing church, serve the Lord. And he'll maintain your healing. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has answered your prayer. The Lord has answered my prayer. Say it for yourself. The Lord has answered my prayer. There will be a manifestation in your life. A manifestation in your body. A manifestation in your family. The Lord will take even now every form of sickness away from the midst of you. Have you asked him? He has given you. Have you sought for his miracle? You have found it. Have you knocked at his door? The door of mercy and miracle has been opened unto you. Who is the receiver there? What are you? I said who is the receiver there? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your promise. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion. Your compassion will never fail. I bring everyone before you, whatever the mountain, whatever the sickness, whatever the infirmity, according to your promise, which will never fail, Take everything away in Jesus' name. Cancel the works of the devil. Crush the works of the devil. Destroy the works of the devil. Every request your people have made before you one by one, fulfill the request in Jesus' name. Let there be healing for everyone. Miracle for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Lord, let there be a fulfillment right now in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, this healing will be permanent. This deliverance will be permanent. Your miracle will be permanent in every life in Jesus' name. Let there be a performance in every life right now. Confirmation in every life right now. Manifestation of your miracle of mercy in every life now in Jesus' name. It is done. You have got it. I have received. It is confirmed for everyone in Jesus' name. Life. For the opportunity to be in your presence tonight, we ask that your presence come down in our midst in Jesus' name. Bless everyone that is seated here, and as many that will be hearing us anywhere, Lord, we ask that your blessings will flow in Jesus' name. That the, at the end of meeting tonight, we'll have every cause to glorify your name in Jesus' name. Thank you for having answered us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. Alleluia. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name, for the Lord is good. Let us sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Let us praise his name. For the Lord is good, hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. 
Let us praise his name, for the Lord is good. Brethren, sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Let us praise his name, for the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Let us praise his name, for the Lord is good. Sing unto the Lord a joyful song. Let us praise his name, for the Lord is good. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body, praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body, praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body, shout hallelujah. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor. Belongs to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Singing, amen, amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor. Power and might belongs to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. This is my night of joy, my night of joy, my night of joy, hallelujah. This is my night of joy, my night of joy, my night of joy, hallelujah. This is my night of joy, my night of joy, my night of joy joy hallelujah this is my night of joy my night of joy my night of joy hallelujah this is my night of joy my night of joy my night of joy hallelujah tonight is my night of joy my night of joy, my night of joy. This is my night of joy, the night of joy, a night of joy, hallelujah. Tonight is the night of joy, the night of joy, the night of joy. It's not by power, it's not by might, by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by power, it's not by might, by my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain, this mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by power, it's not by mind, by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by power. It's not by mind, by my spirit. 
Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Satan, I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Demons, I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus sets me free. I shall not be bound. I shall not be bound. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye, failure. Failure, bye-bye. We are marching into the success city. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye, failure. Failure, bye-bye. We are marching into the success city. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye, failure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sickness. Bye-bye, sickness. Bye-bye, sickness. Sickness, bye-bye. We are marching into the healing city. Bye-bye, sickness. Bye-bye, sickness. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, sickness. Dead. He is alive. I see him in my life. I see him in my home. I see him all over me. He is not dead. God's not dead. He is alive. God's not dead. He is alive. God is not dead. He is alive. I see him in this church. I see him in this place. I see him all over me. The man of Calvary, he has done it before in my life, in this place. He will do it again. Jesus of Galilee, he has done it before in my life, in this place. He will do it again. The man of Calvary, he has done it before in my life, in this place. He will do it again. Jesus of Galilee, he has done it before in my life, in this place. He will do it again. God cannot lie. His word must surely come to pass. Because it's not him. God is not a man. His word must surely come to pass. He is not a man. Because it's not him. God is not a man. His word must surely come to He is not a man. Because it's not him. God is not a liar. His word must surely come to pass. Because it's not a man. His word must surely come to pass. In my life, 
because he's not same. God is not same man. His word must surely come to. He is not same man because he's not same man. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with us. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with us. It is well with us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with us. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, the Lord, unchangeable God, changeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Jesus, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, the Lord, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God. The Lord unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, my God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Power, power belongs to God, power. Power belongs to God, power, 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 power belongs to God, power. Power belongs to God, power, 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 power belongs to God, power. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. The Lord has conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory, victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory, victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God. Who has given us victory, victory, we are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Yes, 
be as victorious. Glory be to God who gave us the victory. The power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the Pentecostal power, it is just the same today, today. The power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the Pentecostal power, it is just the same today. The power, the power, the Pentecostal power is just the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the Pentecostal power, it is just the same today. 